Relinking media in DaVinci Resolve is about reconnecting clips in your media pool to their source files on your computer or storage device. Resolve tries to track these links automatically, but if the files move, you will need to relink them. All right, so let's jump in on how we actually do this. If Resolve fails to access or find the media files, you'll often see this link icon go from gray to orange on the cut and edit pages in the media pool. Clicking on this icon opens up a dialog showing the original volumes where the files were located. Having that information could help with finding the media. If we click the locate button, we can browse our system and reconnect the missing files to their new path. If we click select folder, DaVinci Resolve will do a quick search within that directory. If the quick search doesn't work, we can initialize a deep search by clicking search disk. Just be mindful that this is going to search the entire disk that we initially selected. Depending on the size of the disk, this could take a little bit of time. Another flexible method would be to use the relink clips from selected bin. Another dialog will open. Here we can choose the volume or directory we want to search within. Upon clicking OK, DaVinci Resolve will initiate a fast search, which will search in the directory that we pointed it to. If DaVinci Resolve isn't able to find the files, we'll get an error like this. We'll click close. A new dialog will pop up asking if we would like to perform a comprehensive search. This will then search within the subdirectories of the main directory that we just searched in. This is my preferred method because I feel like it goes a little bit quicker, only searching the subdirectories within my chosen location instead of searching the whole disk. If the clips still aren't found, you'll be prompted to choose another directory or quit. All right, so a little pro tip, don't edit off of camera cards. If for any reason the camera card stops communicating with the computer, the media will then show up as being offline, which then you'll have to relink everything. Be sure to move your footage to a drive you can edit from. And that's one of the biggest takeaways. DaVinci Resolve will really only show this offline media if DaVinci Resolve can't access a file. So with that being said, that's relinking media and DaVinci Resolve in three minutes. Give this video a like if you'd like to see more short videos like this one.